Okay guys, mabuhay maligaya ang pagbabalik sa aking YouTube channel. Actually, kanina pa nga tong post ni Chris Aquino. Pinost niya tong uh, picture niya ng baby. Of course, nung bata pa siya. And at the same time, nakita niya naman yung t-shirt. Uh, makikita ang kanyang father, si um, former senator Ninoy Aquino. Ayan. So, but anyways, um, siguro parang sagot din ito ni Chris dun sa pano nga, plano nga ano, diba, paggawa uh, ng pelikula na may kinalaman sa kanyang ama yung queen nga yung ma um, murder or murderer parang sequel yon or part 2 yon ng made in Malacanang so ang bida nga doon of course nakikita nyo na yang ano ni Noy Aquino si Jerome Ponce at eto naman si of course yan si Jerome at syempre si Isko Moreno ang gaganap na nung ni Noy Aquino nung 1983 of course ayan so may mga development ka eto yung pagbati actually Chris yung post ni Chris uh, may kinalaman of course sa birthday ng kanyang ni ano nga ni Ninoy na November 27 so alam naman natin kung ano nangyari of course kahit sa mga millennials by the way nakikita nyo si um, Marco Gumabaw at alam nyo naman ang kaang role naman niya ay bilang batang uh, Ferdinand Marcos of course uh, former president then Ferdinand Marcos tiba nga may chika na ang nandigaw talaga kay ano kay eto na bago yon nakita niyo naman yan um si Cesar Montano of course bilang Marcos at si Isko Moreno bilang si ano si Ninoy. Ito yung mga panahong ito mga 1983 na yan eh. So, ganun ang kwento. Makikita nyo naman sa Vincent mention eh. Anyways, um So yun na nga parang sagsagot na rin siguro ito ni Chris at may kinalaman nga sa birthday ng kanyang father kasi kung sisimulan mo yung kwento ay uh, yung post ni Chris um eto na muna yon doon muna tayo sa sa to subukan mang baguhin ang kwento ng kahapon it's from you i learned to never show anger never reveal your weakness the child of Ninoy and Cory the last Still carrying their last names, learn from both. Faith in God, patience, protecting your integrity, standing firm with your words, trustworthiness, and caring for all Filipino regardless of chosen color and sharing with those in need. Those are values I hold on to do to and do my best to instill in my sons. God sees all and that's what matters. Hero. Ayan. But anyways, et, eto nga yung kwento niya muna. So, bago, bag, binasa ko lang yung part na yun kasi parang yun yung reply niya sa, ano, na natiming nga naman nagsisimula na rin mag-shooting ang pelikulang uh, MOA. Um, mur mur murder or murderer. Parang ganon. But anyways, eto yung uli yung uh, post ni Chris. How could a person mom would always say was your... Female version possibly forget. In heaven, you celebrated your 90th birthday. Dad, just a rhetorical question. Bakit pati yung cardiovascular problems mo, minana ko? My genetic testing cleared me for all types of cancer. Thank you, God. But two of my life, threatening autoimmune issues have an effect on blood flow, heart, and lung function. Bim at 15 already has high cholesterol issues. We were both saying Kuya is really the favorite of his Lola Cory and Tito Noy because maganda ang blood panel na. Tito Noy, of course, is a former president then. Um, Noy Noy Aquino. And then eto pa, I only experienced having you as my dad for 3 years and 3 months from May 8, 1980 to August of 1983. Yet you gave me so much of you. Because we had... To get to know each other, I was 19 months old nung kinulong ang dad namin. From watching the nightly evening news to our Barnes and Noble bonding, watching movies, our last was the turn of the Jedi, going to all my school events among the five of us, I was so blessed. In Boston, you weren't a vice governor, governor, senator, or political prisoner sentenced to death by firing squad. You were just my dad who called me beautiful. When my when my movies, TV shows, and endorsements were all happening, mom was proud, but in my heart, I knew you were even prouder because you were the first to believe my childhood dreams would come true. Dad, that's what set you apart, your charisma, came from the fact everyone who was in your company felt special. In it, in it, innately, Ninoy Aquino knew how to make it all about others and never about himself. Yes, you were a great writer and speaker, but more than that, nakafocus ka sa mga taong kaharap mo. Unselfish talaga yung pagmamahal mo sa kapwa Pilipino. Ayan. So, doon niya nga pinasok yung ano, 
Um, subukan man baguhin ang kwento ng kahapon. It's from you I learned to never show anger, never reveal your weakness. The child of Ninoy and Kari, the last still carrying their last names, learned from what? Fading, fading God, patience, protecting your integrity, standing firm with your words, trustworthiness, and caring for all Filipinos, and blah, blah, blah. Of course, maraming bumate kay um, Ninoy. At mababasa din naman ang mga comment dito na sabi nga nitong Citronias, no matter what, uh, how they try, they will never be able to revise history. It's documented. There are living witnesses. The world knows. Subukan mang baluktot ng kasaysayan, hindi hindi ka mag-iisa. Nino will always be a hero, a martyr, an intelligent statesman who loves his fellow Filipinos. No fake propaganda can tarnish that. Only the insecure will paint a different it Nino. Ayan, komento to ng mga of course followers ni followers ni Chris, mga fans ni Chris. Ah, uh, eto pa. Sa mat- mata lang ng, ayun, medyo harsh na yung mga iba. So, but anyways, mas marami din na nagpipray na sana gumaling na si Chris, sana makita na nila, sana bumalik na ng Pilipinas. Maraming sana na talagang kahit naman ako, eh gusto ko nang mangyari na yung sana ng lahat na yan. Ano. But anyways, at sabi nga ni Direk Daryl Yap, huwag munang husgahan ang pelikula hanggat hindi pa napapanood. Panoorin muna bago... mag-react bago mag-comment. Remember, ganun ang nangyari daw sa Made in Malacanang. Ang dami ng reaction, hindi pa napapanood ang pelikula. Ayon! 